All right, well, been out here for, I don't know, five seconds. Oh. five seconds, first drop, first mark, caught a walleye, sitting in, looks like 28 feet of water, and that fish came on the screen and nailed it instantly. Good things to come. Didn't even have time to turn on the camera for that one, buddy. I'm trying to catch some walleye so that we can make some walleye tacos. Mango, pineapple, salsa. Oh gosh, it's gonna be good. Think it might be about time for a catch and cook episode. You don't have to be a statue, little girl. Oh, hey there. Welcome back to On Fish TV for the second part of the Catch and Cook. Right now, we're going to be making... What are we going to be making? What is this? Uh, pineapple. What is this? A tomato. Wrong. But, a uh, mango. A mango. We talked about this beforehand, mm -hmm. but it didn't quite work out. In purple. That's purple onion. But what this is for is going to be the pineapple mango salsa, and that's going to go with our uh, fish taco, fi uh, fish fajita tacos, walleye and crappie. And then over here, this is the cabbage cilantro kind of slaw. It's not a slaw; it's like just lettuce to go with your fish. Hey, and then, lettuce. yep, yep. And then after. We get done make. We gotta make this, and we're gonna let it sit for the night, and we're gonna make this and let it sit for the night, and then tomorrow is gonna be when we cook the fish and we actually sit down and eat the tacos. So, what do you Taco say? Tacos today. Tell the tell the viewers that we'll see them tomorrow. We'll see them tomorrow. All right. We'll get right back with you. We're gonna cut all this stuff up. Sorry, honey. All right. Yep, she wants to take it all with her. It's we'll be we'll be right back with you. Do you? Nail it, buddy. All right, hardcore fishermen, hold off. You guys just stay home for a little bit. Got a lot planned today. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Need a few more wallies. Come on, Walters. Take an 18 incher right now. Oh, no way. No way. Come back, buddy. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Yeah. This is a good one. This is a good fish. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice fatty. Nice fatty. Jig and wrap, no bait, nice eater. Like I said, guys, we're gonna be doing a catch and cook. Ah, oh, he took off my wings. He took my wings off, buddy. My wings off my jig and wrap. Nice walleye. That's about 16, 17 inches. Dude, they are coming up aggressive. That guy came up like five feet off the of bottom. 
Yeah. That's what you like to see. That red chrome, dude, is unbelievable. And jig and wrap it, chrome anything is unbelievable out here. Get him. Got him. Bingo. Nice. Nice one. That's an eater. Chicken wrap. Beauty. Bam. No bait. Sweet. He'll eat nicely. They'll make wonderful walleye tacos with pineapple and mango salsa. All right, well, we got a lot of things to do. We're going to get to it. We got to chop this stuff up. All right, well, we've got everything cut up. I said that we were going to do this today, tonight and let it sit but we don't want to do that because the purple in the cabbage makes everything turn purple so when you go to do your tacos to, uh, the day that you're going to do them that's when you cut this up uh, so we've got our pineapple mango red onion and cilantro all cut up yeah that that's the one you put that in to taste so yeah um, yeah, it's so sour, she says. So, uh, we are going to get the salsa made up tonight so that it can sit and kind of just blend with each other this and, be, and all the juices. This work. is going to be the luckiest thing ever. Oh, I got a little flashy flash on the bottom. Bombs away. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Fish on, buddy. I just freaking crushed that one. Crappy. Really? Yep. <laughs> Late season's really nice because you don't even need to bring a auger out. I say that and then we got him over there banging on the ice. You letting the fish know where we're at? I'm going to catch two fish before he gets through. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I love jigging wraps. When they're hitting on jigging wraps, dude, it's so much fun. Rip, rip, pause. Rip, rip, pause. There's one. Crop. With these crappie, if you can get down there quick enough, you can a lot of times keep the school with you. Yeah, they're still there. I got three fish. They're starting to move away. One's still pretty strong signal. He's fading out. All right, I'm down. He's fading. Oh, he's coming back. Oh, he wants some of this. Yes, you do. Oh, yes, you do. Nice crop. Make some good crappie tacos. Hey, you get out of there. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing one pineapple, uh, diced up nice and small. Two. Oh, I'm going to get you. Two mangoes, diced up nice and small. 
Your onion is also, it's going to, a uh, half a red purple onion, and that's also going to be diced up very small. And you can add the onion to taste if you want a little less or a little more, you can do that. Same with the cilantro, same with the lime. Anyways, we're going to get it mixed up here. We're going to let it sit all, uh, for the night, and we'll get back with you tomorrow. See you guys. Say bye. We got it all done here. Pineapple mango salsa. Bingo. Oh, marking. Here we go. Got him? No, I lost him again. That's twice. Twice in a row I lost him. Got one. Crappie. Was yours? Yeah. That's a nice crop. Decent. Decent. I would say that keyhole's on fire. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. There's gonna be boats out here in about a week and a half. What'd you say, Sunday? I bet we'll have some people out here breaking up the ice on Sunday. Yep. One of the boat docks, dude. Hold. Oh, uh, I got one marking. Dude, he comes up, looks at it, and leaves. Here he comes. Oh, man. oh no way, dude. Oh my god, that's what he did over there, but he hauled that. He's a little bit faster than that. Right. I think this one might be a little bigger fish. I'm in 36 feet of water. Oh, there's one up there. Crop. <laughs> Dude, I said it perfect. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome, Hell yeah. Thank you, buddy. I think there was a northern following him up. Because right when I put down, there was a mark that was at the top and it was going down and it was a pretty big mark. It was definitely a fish. So what I'm gonna do is lay this down. We've got a little bit of the fajita seasoning. Uh, on the bottom of the bowls and I'm just laying these flat and then I'll sprinkle a little bit on top and then straight from here they'll go into whatever we're cooking right now these are the crappie fillets <clears throat> each strip on the top side we should get going here pretty soon to ensure that we're back there before any other people come back there there we go fish 
I think this one's a little Wally. Little Walter. That's a little Walter right there. Thirty-six feet of water. I think I can let that guy go. If he'll go. There he goes. Thirty-six feet, tiny, tiny wallies. Oh, this is a bigger one. Three, two. Oh. Oh no way. That's a that's a nice mark, dude. Got him. This one's a little bit better. Oh, there's another one down there. That means, oh, not, not the size I'm wanting. See ya, bud. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, I found the little ones. There's got to be a big down there somewhere. Come up. Come on up and meet Mr. Jig and Wrap. Go bang the bottom for a little bit. Banging rocks. There's one. Yeah. Just aggressive little wallies. This one might be a little bigger. Kind of glad I stayed in this spot. Well, yeah, that's a good eater. Dude, I'm on a school of them over here. Nice Wally. All right, we're coming up to the last process right now. We got to make the cabbage, cilantro, lime topping, and also we have to season the fish. We do this with a fajita mix. We make our own, but you guys can go to the store and purchase whatever type of fajita mix you like. And we'll be cooking this. You can use an air fryer, oven, grill, we're gonna probably be using the grill or the stove, not sure. But um, we're gonna get this cooked up and we are gonna get this chopped up and marinating, marinating in the fridge. All right, well, we've got it all chopped up here. We've got the cabbage cilantro lime topping and then we have the crappie and walleye fajita seasoning all over the the fish. So we're gonna get on cooking the fish and letting this sit in the fridge. That's a nice 15 inch or so. Good eater. Here we go, coming up. Yeah! All right, crappy, crappy, crappy. All right, this is gonna make some nice fish tacos. Can't wait, yummy, yummy. Hey guys, if you're having fun, please subscribe to On Fish TV. All right, so we're back and these tacos look delicious, don't they, buddy? They're, yummy, yummy. They are delicious. Mmm. They are delicious. Mm-hmm. Of course. 
Try a bite. He's out of here. You want you want to try a bite? He's out. All right. Well, thank you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's show. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and share with your fishing friends. Next time you go catch some walleye or crappie, try the try this recipe out. See you guys next time. Thanks. Da 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 da